Thank you very much, peoples of Earth, little people of Earth. <laughs> Hello, brothers and sisters of the end. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. <laughs> you know the drill. <laughs> if you've been in tension, I've been wearing this shirt for quite some time. But I always wash it, dry it, and I put it right back on. Okay. If you've been in comments, questions, insults, or roast rest, you put it down below. If you have any comments, questions, or insults, or roast rest, you put it down below. And the last message of asses, please steer clear of me. And thank you very much for the donations. But I cannot receive large sums of money. Okay, all right. And thank you very much, though. I could easily just take the money and just go uh, build the studio immediately and stuff like that. But I don't know you. And you might end up trying to kill me, okay? I already told you. <laughs> but anyway, this video is basically going to be about the curse of of the judge also slash lawyers let me tell you the reason why they're cursed if you're a judge okay? unless you're a demiurge god in the human body or some shit like that or some sort of watcher okay if you don't know what those things mean you should get the fuck off my page okay because i'm a schizo i'm a i'm a schizologist all right i'm a schizophrenic individual so you know what schizo means right all right okay um so I like to waste a lot of people's time. So it's just a minute, okay? But some people just are A to get this, this know what the fuck this shit is, okay? But anyway, if you're not a watcher or a demiurge or shit like myself, okay? Because I could be a judge easily. But at the same time, you know, you have to go in the spirit. <clears throat> and a lot of people don't have the spirit. Okay? It's a form of mysticism or pseudo fucking uh, uh, science, if you want to say. But they may not believe in it. But of course, there's a whole bunch of scientists who believes in quarks and... and <clears throat> And other shit, and they can't even understand it. Okay? Alright? So, let's say you're at a judge, okay? And the judge is judging you. Or you're either with a lawyer, and you're paying the lawyer. And their true intention is to be a vampire. Okay? They feed off your money. They know the fact that they most likely won't win. But they'll try a little bit. But they won't give you no discount or anything like that. They're just not being thoughtful at all. Also, the judge, he ruins lives, okay? Because if you're a judge, <clears throat> or even a lawyer, you ruin lives. And you're taking advantage of people's situations. So you, it should be free until you win. Right? A judge should not judge you unless there's evidence, correct? But let's say, for instance, you have a judge. Because two times I lost in the court of law. No contest. And the other, other the other one, even with my wife, the one with my wife is basically most likely guilty, okay? So even with no evidence, no no DNA, no nothing like that. No, no proof, okay? Please understand, those judges... Okay, now you got you got the point now. Those just shall be cursed. So let's say, for instance, the tables will be turned. So you're being judged because something you did wrong in your life. Okay, you're the defendant. Okay, but the judge doesn't understand your side, or nor doesn't he care, nor does the lawyer. Okay, care about how much money you can afford to pay them. Okay, you know. They don't care if it's 3,000, 4,000, they are vampires, okay? They are extorting money. The whole thing is a setup, okay? And you can feel it. And if you can feel this and you're the defendant and you know you tried everything in your goddamn power and you are the one with the pure heart, then I feel really bad for the judge and also the lawyers that tried to rob you. Do you understand? Now, you may not believe in karma, okay? But I do believe in karma. And usually if I'm standing up there, I realize that the only time I was actually recognized when I was in the court of law was with a woman who who asked me, please prove to the, the courts that you have some sort of situation going on. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm just wondering why they didn't do that in the first place. You know you know what I'm saying? But it's not necessarily most of the time, most of the time the police's fault when certain things happen. They could either be possessed, okay, or be basically have some sort of uh, freak out, freak out mode. And it does happen mostly with Caucasoid and Crackers because of the fact that their ancestors and shit did some crazy shit and so forth. I, I've seen some fucking cops go off to start shooting and doing some crazy shit that they wasn't supposed to do. But please understand this. Understand to have an open mind. If you're being judged and you have a pure heart, okay, that person will be judged. Okay? If you are with a lawyer, however, okay, the same thing goes for the lawyer. You can't feed off someone. You can't feed off the weak. You cannot feed off the strong. It doesn't matter which way you look at it, but I'm a strong individual who has no money. So what does that make me? Does it make me weak because I have no money or zero? That does, you see, you got to understand, watch what you say. Watch what you understand, my guys. You don't need money to be strong. Okay, you got it? All right, okay, there you go. Wink, wink, okay? And that philosophy goes true with a lot of different things in life, okay? 
It may seem like I'm rambling, running, rambling on my mouth, but I have to do this for the algorithm for um, YouTube. Because I remember my, two of my videos got pulled down called the Negroid Curse. Okay, Negro is not a racist thing to say. Okay, if I say hillbilly, cracker, spick or some shit, I'm just being offensive, being a fucking comedian, being a jackass, or be, just calling them names. That don't make you a racist. Please understand that. When someone sounds like a racist, they may not even be a racist at all. You gotta look at both sides of the fence, motherfuckers. And that's how most of you are. You're very judgmental bastards. That's why I don't like most of you listening to me. But as I said before, <clears throat> I repeat, you can follow me on anchor.fm slash emeraldpale. I'm also on Spotify. Spotfly, okay? That's the only two ones I'm, uh, uh, I'm mentioning because there's so much knowledge that I have and I have no time for like going on Patreon. So let's just start a Kickstarter in, in the video games. I have a whole bit different uh, whole list of ideas and innovative ideas, okay? But I can't talk about it on here because I don't want people to take on my idea. I already see like one person took, one or two people took some uh, ideas, okay? And they started a fucking YouTube video channel. I don't care. I don't really care. I just got to keep my mouth shut. But anyway, yeah, I digress here. I just want to, I came on here also to talk about this. Okay, so I haven't forgotten the point. I told you I talked about food. And I get this a 9 out of a 10. Because some of the chemicals are not really good for you. So you got to bear with it. If you eat this in the morning, you won't need to eat breakfast. It tastes better than toast. Okay, because toast has cancer agents on it when you put it in the toaster. You know that black parts and shit like that. Even barbecuing is bad for your health. But I told you I was going to talk about foods. And that's what I'm doing. Most most of my videos on Monthly is Not As Four will be about foods. And if I say it's a 9 out of a 10, you go out there and you get this. You get like about four of them in the pack. And it seems to last me for a whole goddamn month. One box. <laughs> I, I eat breakfast, right? This is how I eat breakfast. I'm real picky. I'll eat breakfast. Okay, I didn't do the moderation. And when you have to do moderation, you have more food in the house. That's what I tried to tell my wife because she's, she hasn't had the food out here. So she's just going crazy and eating like fucking African. <laughs> you see how creative my videos are without no motherfucking script? Can you do that, y'all? But I'm not going, I'm not interested in millions of subscribers. I'm not interested in thousands of subscribers. That only get me in trouble, y'all guys. So stop doing it. You could see, if you could view my video a million times without liking or disliking, Without making a pre-biased uh, notion, okay, concoction sit up in your head. I may not sound articulate, but I know I'm talking about something that you you know what the fuck I'm saying is correct. So, it's called a Bell Vita. These cookies, I, I like these the best because they have cranberry pieces in it, at orange. And these right here will basically help you throughout the morning. Oh, maybe the whole entire goddamn day because I lasted on this for like one whole day. Just like, did I just eat something today? Because I was so busy fucking researching and resting and drinking plenty of re reverse osmosis water. You can get reverse osmosis water in the green container, the spring water. Okay, um, basically, uh, it's only 98 cents in the stores, man. So y'all should just start thinking about your I told you, you lose weight that way. But you got to be moving around, though. Because if you don't move around, you're jackasses. I'm, I'm talking, all of you, almost everybody. If you can't move around, I'm so sorry for you, but you just eat less. Or do something active, proactive with your body so it can sweat, okay? All right? So that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, uh, a, pel, uh, a bell a vita, okay? It's a good cracker for breakfast. I eat one cracker, and that's it. One or two, that's it. I'm done, okay? Peace and love to you, brothers, sisters, and lightning that welcome to my page. And please understand what, the, the, when I talk about some mysticism things, I think some of that stuff has some facts on it. Because the universe has this way of getting people back, either in the, this life or the next life. And then they won't understand that kind of suffering. And that's why I wonder in my past life, what did I do wrong? I think I chose to come here, as a matter of fact, okay? Because I just want to see how your petty humans are living. Okay, guys, as I said before, stop focusing just on human beings, there are other races much more highly and sophisticated and intelligent than human beings, but they're in human skin, though. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters. Up like that, what's my page? Please understand, also, judges and lawyers don't understand the pathology of psychology. They don't understand it. Okay, They're only looking for their own outcomes. They all come. And if they don't understand it, or maybe they did take a course or whatever, I don't give a fuck. They can't remember it. Okay? And they don't, they're too tired. Okay? And then that's on them. So they, they have to suffer for that. Because if I make a judgment, you shouldn't be up there if you're tired, okay? You shouldn't be up there. You should just take a break. I'm just going to take a break. You never judge someone. Never judge a holy person because if you're not in the mood, all right? Peace and love to brothers and sisters. Don't lighten up. Watch my page. And you have a nice motherfucking day.